Today, we talk about... As you saw in the video, Penguins has a lot of great people coming out these next few weeks. Uh, Gabriel Rutledge is coming next week. Give a big round of applause for him. April Macy's coming up. Jimmy Pardo. So please come back to Penguins. I'm so excited for the show that we have tonight. Are you guys ready to keep having some fun? Coming to the stage right now is a good friend of mine. He's doing a guest spot tonight. Please give it up for Sadra Azizi, everybody. Because I love Carson, but uh, this is the first time I've had to follow a teacher of middle, uh, middle school students. It's kind of tough with this look. I look like a guy that abducts middle school students. <laughs> it's not a good look. Uh, although I guess I could hide it with all these Halloween colors. This wasn't even on purpose. I'm actually from New York, but I'm wearing Nick's colors on uh, accident. Uh, I'm not even Jewish, I just look at it, and I'm from New York, so it's, it's one of those things. But, uh, but yeah, I get, I get confused all the time, and I understand why. I can't help who my parents are. My dad is Groucho Marx, and my mom is Borat. <laughs> yeah, so I'm telling you, it's, it's too early for Halloween. These uh, glasses and mustaches are sold separately. It's not, uh, it's, it's not um, my actual day job, uh, so I'm from New York, but I came out to Iowa just last year because uh, they were hiring at the local hospital, and I'm actually a doctor, believe it or not. Uh, kind of weird for my mom to know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, my mom's not clapping. It. She's, she's bad I'm down here with you folks. It's, uh, uh, what are you doing? Uh, but no, it's fun. I'm actually a GI doctor. For those that don't know, that's gastrointestinal. My friends tease me and call me a butt doctor. <laughs> kind of a shame I'm more of a boobs guy, but you know, so, yeah. I've learned a lot about you folks uh, based on what I find inside of you. Uh, I'll give you an example. This dude came in with a vibrator stuck in his ass. And uh, it was an awkward conversation when I told him I'd have it out of him in no time, and he just looks at me like, God, take it out. I'm just here for a battery change. What are you talking about? <laughs> uh, yeah, super yeah. I've also found out you guys out here in Iowa love Chick-fil-A. You guys love Chick-fil-A. Oh my God. Weird, man. I know this because it gets stuck in your throats every other night. I gotta get called in to shove this festering mess out of you. Uh, but I know it's that good because like the minute I'm done, I'm like still hungry for Chick-fil-A. Like I'm like, let's go. Let's do this. <laughs> It was great, delicious. <laughs> Actually, it was funny. Uh, being from New York, you know, we say soda, we don't say pop. Out here, you guys say pop. And uh, I remember my first day on the job here at the hospital. They were taking me around, giving me a tour, being hospitable. They're like, "Oh, can we help you to some coffee, some water, some pop?" I heard pot. I was like, "What? What? Dude, I was progressive as fuck. This is amazing." I was wrong. <laughs> yeah, it was weird. Uh, but uh, but some good has come out of being out here. Uh, I met my girlfriend out here. She's uh, she's lovely. Um, don't say aw. She's actually here tonight, but uh, she's not here being supportive. She's just making sure I'm not cheating on her. It's, uh, <laughs> yeah. Doctor on his Saturday, spending his... Time in a basement in Cedar Rapids downtown. All right. <laughs> Something doesn't fit. Uh, let me ask you guys a question. Do you guys fuck with syphilis? <laughs> no? This guy's shaking his head. No? <laughs> Listen, man, it's not so bad anymore. We got penicillin these days. It's great. You, know, you won't even know you have it. It's just, it's gone. Uh, it's not the same story back in 1900. There was no penicillin back then. So like, not only were you dying of this thing, but you would walk around town with no nose because your nose would fall off. I'm, I'm not being serious. Like Your nose would fall off. You'd be walking around town. Everyone knows. Uh, and, uh, it's kind of weird. Like You can't have that sneaky discussion with your girl like, hey, babe, I'm clean. Like, no, dude, it's reverse Pinocchio. Your nose is falling off. It's over. And uh, what I find amazing is the treatment for this thing. I swear to God, you guys can Google this when you go home. The treatment for this, before penicillin, God, I fucking love penicillin. Uh, before penicillin, this is how they would treat it. They would actually 
sew your hand to your head like this and then graft a piece of your forearm to your nose like this so it grows back. Yeah, and I'm just like, this is hilarious because it's just like you're walking around town with the perfect body language, like, ah, oh, I got syphilis, fuck, you know, like it's, <laughs> damn it, you know? Yeah, it's, uh, thank God for passing. Oh, uh, I appreciate you guys laughing tonight, man, because uh, I can't have the headlines tomorrow reading Middle Eastern comic bombs in Iowa. It's not <laughs> And I can't afford that, you know. My mom's already mad I'm here, so it's, uh, yeah. Uh, but the, the, it, it's funny, because like I'm, I'm less than a year into this comedy thing, and I'm trying to ask some of these fellow comedians, how do I get good at this, you know? And they always tell me the same thing. They're like, oh, dude, you just gotta bomb a few times, and you'll be great. I'm like, what? Can you imagine if they told me that in medical school? Oh, dude, you just gotta have to kill a few people. <laughs> And you're gonna cure cancer, it's gonna be amazing. It doesn't work that way. The closest I came to bombing was my first ever colonoscopy. Uh, yeah, lovely old lady comes in and I'm fumbling with the controls like, oh, what do I do, you know? And, um, and I get up there and boom, right in the rectum, I see this big mass, I'm thinking, oh my God, colon cancer on my first colonoscopy, this is awful luck. And I did the biopsy and I had to call her with the results and it was super awkward because I had to be like, Normal cervix tissue, I went up the wrong tunnel. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, so I'm gonna cure cancer someday, folks. <laughs> yeah, but uh, but you know, even if I fumble, the nice thing is with this job, I get like 30 recruiter emails a day, so I think I'll be okay. But it's been getting kind of awkward because uh, I got this email recently from a guy who signed it, Sincerely James, parentheses, he slash his. I'm like, bro, I mean, I, I'm all for this progressive movement and all this, but like, we're, we're kind of getting carried away. Like, we're, t we're bringing too much personal information into the workplace. Like, I can't slip, just start signing my emails, like, Sincerely Saj, or parentheses, he slash his, slash into redhead, slash don't mind butt stuff, slash the ball on my back is fine, the doctor says it's gonna be okay, slash uh, I don't have syphilis, I promise. <laughs> You guys have been great. I love you. I've never given you a Give it up one more time for Sandra Azizi, everybody. Great guest spot, Sandra.